What's up guys? I am in the middle of doing, um, I think today I'm gonna make this a favorite day. I tried to do Instacart today. I think I did two to three orders this morning and my last order was just a big mess. I don't know if the app was updating or I had connection issues. I was on Wi-Fi and cellular and it took forever for it to connect to the system and find replacements. Thank God I had a customer that was understanding. Even on her side, it kept showing her like the app is under maintenance, but she tried to approve the replacements and the stuff that I was doing. So I said, I'm just gonna back off Instacart for right now. Favors having this crazy promotion. If you do 12 favors, they guarantee you $100. I'm gonna see if today we can reach that goal. So let's uh, get started. I'm actually gonna call this order in right now. We're gonna go to this place called Docs. I think you guys have seen that on my videos before. But yeah, here's the breakdown for if you guys haven't seen the past videos. If you do 12 favors, you're guaranteed $100. 25 favors, 250. 45 favors, they're gonna give you $500. If you do 60 favors, that's $700 guarantee within three days so i don't know how much i can do but i'm gonna definitely try to do a lot not so fast chemo sabi so just before i leave so favor pro tip which i've learned from other videos and just from experience try not to just rush over there to pick up your favor because uh much like doordash and the other ones you have to place the order like it's not like uber where you just go and pick it up i called them they said they don't have any produce because this customer wanted a buffalo uh buffalo uh salad and obviously can't have it. And they wanted some sliders. So I asked her, did you want us to just sub it for something or just take off the salad and just do the sliders? So she just wrote me back. Okay, cool. I'll put that in for you. So I'll go ahead and put this in. Uh, I think it's about 10 minutes to get to the place. So that'll give them time to get it ready. And by the time I show up, it should be there. That way I don't have to be there, sit and wait and then, you know, you know what I'm saying. Not so fast again. <laughs> so I'm heading over to do, I um, tell the people like, let's just go ahead and do what we can on the order. So the customer said, just give me buffalo sliders and then give me um, the mini cheeseburger slider like I ordered before and the mimosa. So I called them back and I'm like, okay, so let's go ahead and sub out the salad because you guys don't have produce, you can't make the salad. Let's sub out the salad for the, uh, buffalo, chick uh, the buffalo chicken sliders. Let's go ahead and do the mini cheeseburger. And the customer does want to go ahead and get the mimosa. Uh, they can't see any of this information on there. So uh, we're calling it in and talking to them as it goes. So they're like, oh, we can't give you the mimosa because you got you guys are doing handoff deliveries with like no contact. So any kid could make one of these, you know, um, what do you call it? You know, one of these uh, accounts, I guess, use their parents' credit card, seen it all, seen it all the time in another um, tech area that I used to work in. I'm not going to mention it, but um. And then you're dropping off alcohol to you don't know who because you can't verify who's at the actual door. So the customer, the customer like, oh no, can we cancel the order? Like, I can see. So I called, um, well text dispatch, um, I text favor and they were actually able to go ahead and cancel it. We kind of went back and forth. They're like, you're not delivering any alcohol. I was like, I don't know any alcoholless mimosas. I think that's what they are. It looks like they finally got the order released from me. Now I got a order where I'm going to go to, um... Uh, Randall's which is a grocery store here and pick up some food unlike Instacart and ship They don't give you pictures. So what I'm doing is I'm going down the list of items It's only like eight and I'm going to Google and I'm searching what it looks like So when I get in the store, I actually know what it looks like and I'm just screenshotting it So I'm gonna go in my um, photos app and then I can actually see what it is hopefully making that a little bit easier But um, yeah, very weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and I'll let you guys know how this turns out Just to give you guys a little look. So she wants some uh, Vita Farms eggs went to Google just got a quick image. So I know what they look like um, she added a few more things onto it, you know, that's gonna happen. And this is what it's looking like. So these are the things she want. I already went through most of them, things that I'm just not familiar with, like morning star veggie sausage links and things like that. Just so I can see what they look like and we're gonna head over there and get this thing started. Sorry I can film a lot in that store. I've never been to that Randall's before. So it was pretty much me blindly going through that. I pulled the images from the internet, which really helped. The customer was awesome too. They were very encouraged, like, you're rock, you're doing a great job. So that helped, you know, I mean, there wasn't a lot of things that we could get, but we did do a lot of good substitutions. Um, I don't know how favor works. Like, I don't know if you actually could do substitute or are supposed to do substitutions, but the thing she asked for, I went ahead and put it in on her receipt. Uh, it matched up, it let me pay out. And the things that we didn't have, I still have to go through and just check and say I had them regardless. And I mean, I guess Favor and her can take that up, but she got the stuff she wanted. And that's the end of that for that customer. I'm gonna attempt Instacart one more time today. Hopefully I should be able to burn through this. The only thing I'm worried about is the connectivity issue that happened when I was at the other one this morning. So if they fix that by now, then I should be able to get through this really, really quick. And I might be able to do some more Instacart. We'll see. So just arrived at the store. The first thing I do is copy this, this little pre-made hello greeting. Um, you want to click this little icon here at the top 
it lets you reach out to the customer um just put that in there pretty much was just saying who i am i'm with instacart um if it hope it's okay to text you any uh, updates or whatnot please let me know if you need anything else so then um instacart also prioritized i guess these are items that the customer really really want hand sanitizer probably not gonna find it uh, facial tissues maybe but this is probably gonna be a big no so i guess if you get these items you're more likely to get a bigger tip or maybe have a higher rating um, but then they do put it in order as per aisles, which I didn't see ships do that. They kind of just kind of jumble things up together. But, you know, you got the dairy, you got the market, the meat market or whatever. Um, then it starts going by aisles one, two, three, four, however many aisles that the place might have. So I just like to get a good overview because it's not everything might be together. See, this is in personal care, but then you might have like this right here. This is, uh, um cotton swabs or whatnot so that's going to be in personal care too so while i'm over there it says personal care but while i'm over in aisle 23 i might want to look out for that that's 17 that's 15 so just go through the aisles and just see what stuff might actually be grouped together because you might have you don't want to have to go back so many times which is going to happen but you want to try to avoid that as much as possible so <laughs> I really want to rock for Instacart, but today is just not my Instacart day. Like, mm -mm -mm. so uh, earlier today I had connection issues. Like one order took forever to finish, and I was like, you know what, gonna put favor to the, I mean, put Instacart to the side and just focus on favor. When there did the favor, favor was pretty cool, even though it was a little, you know, challenging because I didn't know the store. They don't tell you the aisles. It's just a list of items, but I figured it out and got out of there. So I was like, okay, this Instacart order is $32. Seems cool. Small, like it's like 32, 32 items and also about $30, $34. So definitely doable. So I don't know if you guys saw in the video that line to get in the store. Not only was it a line almost around the building, leading up to the door, they had like this little snake, like you know how you go like into the amusement park, amusement parks, and they have that snake thing. It was that even to get in there. So for $32 waiting that's probably what's going to be an hour if even to get in there because they didn't like it was moving and then i probably have to take like an hour to shop it, that's just for 32 dollars. it's just not worth it when i know i can probably knock out a bunch of other um favor orders and hopefully they don't send me to any other hebs because i'm gonna have to start i'm just gonna have to cancel them all like all these hebs have these crazy lines out the door that's just not no, it's just not something I can do. So I actually just drove by the front door and there's no line. Like, now the line is gone. So I don't know, maybe they were letting people in in batches. Would have been nice to know. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, let's stop running favor. Let's just go ahead and uh, get in there and start shopping, I guess. where avocados are the hardest thing to pick out. People are very picky about their avocados. Finally, a successful Instacart. I got some bags in the back, so I'm gonna go and uh, drop this off. Um, it really does feel good doing these deliveries, whether it's food or whether it's grocery. This person was uh, 73, so like me and my husband, uh, we can't go out. I just appreciate you being there because, um, you know, we have health issues and we can't take the chance, but you know, we need food. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this order to them. Uh, we're gonna slide for delivery, delivering. And uh, I'm going to send them a quick message and ask them how they want the food dropped off, if they want me to leave it on the porch, or um, I don't know. But, you know, they're older, so they might need help putting it in the house. Uh, but then again, they might not want to take the risk of face-to-face uh, -face contact, so we'll see. Just to give an update, this is my second favor run, so we only need two more for today. I might do more favors, but if I do 
uh, four favors, one on Friday, which I, four favors on Friday, which I already did, four favors today, and then four favors Sunday. That'll be 12 favors, and I'll be guaranteed $100 on top of whatever else they're paying us just to do these. I might go ahead and do some more. I don't know. Um, there's still a lot of good Instacart orders out there. I haven't even had the need to turn on Uber Eats. I'd be kind of crazy to pass up on the Instacart order money that's coming in and also pass up on the favorite order. And to avoid having a headache of like swiping the card, like I, I hated the card. So to avoid that, just call the order in ahead of time. It makes it a lot easier. So let me go drop this off for the customer. I couldn't even drop that other order off fast enough. Favorite already hit me up with another order. Um, we're gonna go to an Indian kitchen. So this will be, I mean, at the rate Favor is giving me orders, like I might actually be able to do 12 orders today, Jesus. Um, so yeah, this will be my third favor. Then I'll be on to my other one. He already gave me a tip of $10. That was much appreciated. I did a Instacart order earlier where somebody, yeah, yeah, that proof, made $10 cash tip. So uh, needless to say, today is definitely turned around. Let me go ahead and get this one because it looks like Favor is not playing around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think Favor might be my new favorite app right now. I just did another run and um, the last two customers both have tipped me ten dollars and they were really quick and easy to do for today i have three favors i'm going to do one more i'm putting myself i'm going to put myself back on for another hour block knock out a few more favors and then i'm probably going to switch to instacart for the rest of the night um i might just do some uber eats just to say i did some but um we'll see just to show you guys really really quick here and also too i, I can never capture but it'll tell you like a little drop down will come down here and it'll tell you how much they estimated you make per hour so that's really cool anyway um so the last two customers ten dollar tips on each one of these so let me show you. Yeah, so ten dollar that each one of those was twelve, like a twelve dollar run. This was the grocery store order I did earlier. Now the customer has to the end of the day to accept, acknowledge, and then they'll cash out. So I'm gonna have that money even still pending and waiting. So for favor for the week, I'm running about a hundred dollars. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go over here uh, and I'm gonna go to schedule. And you can put yourself in this kind of schedule blocks where all the fire is, but I like to be a little bit more in control. So I'm gonna say run, and then you come down here, and then you pick the area you wanna run. West Austin, Central Austin. So uh, I'm like on the edge of that. Central's gonna take me too far. West Austin also takes me too far. So I'm gonna say South Austin, and I'm gonna say start running. And I'm sure something's gonna pop up right away. Like it's been, crazy crazy busy literally like it just popped up i turned the camera off like oh it's not gonna pop up and boop, boop, there it goes so it's a taco bell order this should be really simple we're just gonna go through the drive through let's just see so you hit details everybody wants to leave it at the door one bean burrito with cheese a couple of packages of mild sauce one cinnamon delight it's very easy this dude is on bk drop off okay so we're gonna say okay i need to get my fourth one in anyway and then you can just hit navigate um, then it also tells you the customer's address up here, which I'm actually gonna blurt out, obviously. But then you can say, just hit this. It'll open up your native maps. It's eight minutes away. And we are on our way. Starting route to 3201 RM 2244. Can I get a one bean burrito with extra cheese? One bean burrito, extra cheese? Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? And one of these cinnamon cinnamon delight twelve packs. Mm, we don't have the twelve packs, sir. Not at the moment. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, how many do I have? We have six. Let's do the six then. The six, okay. And just a couple extras of mild packages. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. We do got twelve. I'm just. I'm sorry about that. All right. And you said what else? And just a couple of packages of the mild sauce. That should do it. All right. Does everything look correct on the screen? It does. Seven sixty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got the food, we checked out, and you gotta take a picture of the receipt. I'm here, we're just gonna confirm the price. Yes, it's 761. Save, save. We confirmed the price. It's a lot of extra steps. Verifying, we did get everything. Whoops, and verify. Now we are leaving the store. Confirm. And we're navigating. And we're off. The sunset. Ooh, this hill. 
favor is not playing with me tonight. Jeez, they're gonna get their hours worth of money out of me. So as soon as I put that order through, Chinatown hit me up. So now we need to go over here to Chinatown. Let's go. All right, we got the food. Now it's time to navigate. Let's go. Favor be random as fuck. Okay, we gotta do a 7-Eleven run. <laughs> okay, um, you know, I'm gonna take it just for the fun of it. Why the fuck not? Favor accepted. Wow. What's up guys? Back at the apartment. It was a long, long day. I'm still trying to perfect the art of the multi-app, but I think I'm getting it. So, um, I know I normally show like daily earnings for each app, but now that we have so many apps and then Instacart isn't giving me like a breakdown, um, per like trip. I don't know why. So I guess we're just going to have to do a total earnings so far like a weekly earnings. But I'm gonna show you what each app is totaling out so far. We'll add it all together. And as I just make these videos, I guess that's just gonna be the new way of how we doing it. It was pretty interesting going into the 7-Eleven uh, um, and ordering or doing a shop. They actually have hand carts. I never even noticed, so I like looked to the side, there was a hand cart and I just started grabbing stuff, putting it up on the counter inside the hand cart. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of things we have to sub. Uh, Favor's a little different. I'm not sure if I'm even doing it right because they have the list of things you're supposed to get I don't know if you're supposed to be subbing these things out or contacting favorite support or what, but at the end of it all, you do take a picture and it's all uploaded. You verify the price. They approved it. I mean, they let it go through. And I guess after 24 hours, I guess they get, they get in contact with the customer to make sure what they got or what they asked for is what they got. If anything was changed or subbed out, they confirm it all. And then it gets updated and I get paid out. So I'm actually one favor away from the 12 that they say you get a guaranteed $100. Looking at this, I'm not sure if it's $100 on top of what they've given me so far, or if it's all supposed to add up to $100. I'm hoping it's $100 on top of it, otherwise I'm gonna be kinda pissed. I'm actually enjoying the app a lot. It looks like most of all the orders are about $10. I mean, every customer's been tipping like nine to $10, so that's been cool. And the thing about it is they cannot tip no less than $2. So no matter what the trip is, you're gonna get a $2 tip, but it kinda all averages out about the same. It is a little bit higher paid than Uber, I will say. I have not given up on Uber. I'm just testing out these new apps because I want to get well versed with them. And they have the promotion going on with Favor. Instacart seems to be popping. Um, I did leave Instacart because the uh, stores that actually had orders were nowhere close to me. So it didn't make any sense trying to drive around. The last uh, Favor I did, I was like a, two blocks from my house when I dropped it off. So I said, you know what? I'm going to turn this off and just come on home because I'll take another one. And it'll probably drive me, you know, have me go all the way across town. I don't want to decline it and have my acceptance rates go down. So. So let's get into what these apps have totaled in so far. Just so you guys know, I've done Dispatch this week, I've done Uber Eats this week, I've done Favor this week, and I've done Instacart this week. I think I think I even might have a uh, a user testing ten dollars floating around there somewhere. Yeah, we finished. I'm, we're gonna check it all out. We're gonna see everything. We're gonna see everything. Let's just put it all together. Where are we so far? Let's get into it. Let's just go down the road here. Let's start with Uber. Uber Eats. Where are we with Uber Eats? So, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to the weekly summary. Let's load it up, let's load it up. Uber Eats, so far we're standing at 187.69. Next on the list, we're gonna go run into Favor. It's called, it's an R on top of it. It's an R on top of it because we're called runners. So we're Favor runners. Anyway, Favor, we have our earnings. And in favor, we're at 124. That's what's running so far in favor. So total favors I've done so far have been $15. This actually should increase, and I'll tell you why. So let's go down here. So as you can see, for today I did seven favors so close to, because um, it's the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So for two days, um, I did a favor on Friday. Today is Saturday. Uh, this is where, I, on the 25th is when I kind of started just jumping around and kind of trying it out. But anyway, what I want to show you guys is this. So I did the favors here. These are all cashed out and paid. But as you can see, I got a 7-Eleven order that I just did, waiting for the customer to confirm the details. And I did that uh, Randall's food uh, grocery order. So whatever that's gonna be, definitely is gonna knock this total up. But for right now, we're just gonna have to go with this, which is the 124. I'm actually interested to see something real quick. Hang on. If I click on these. See, customer tip, $2. So even, if this is all there is, they can't give no less than $2. 7-Eleven was here. Customer's house was like really like five blocks away. Like it was a very simple order to do. So even if it is $4, I'm not going to trip. This one, I need more pay because <laughs> that one was a long order. Anyway, we're moving on. We're out of favor. Next time, we're, next thing we're going to go to is Instacart. Instacart, where are we? No batches available right now. We're going to go down to earnings. 
uh, as you can see, like there's no breakdown of Instacart, like no days, no order. That's one thing I liked about Ship. You got to see each order. You see who tipped you under each order. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need an update. But anyway, in Instacart, for the days we worked, I can't even tell you. I think it was two days. Um, I made one uh, one fifty nine, which me just kind of testing out the app. I'm not actually complaining on that at all. That's actually great for me. Next one is Dispatch. This is crazy. If I could play Wheel of Fortune, other prices, right? And I did one order for Dispatch, which is at fifteen dollars. So now I'm gonna flip screen and we're gonna check out user testing to see if I have anything for that. All right, user testing. Let's see. Did I have any money in here today? Ten dollars. So we've been in every single app. Ten dollars. My rating went down. It's a four point three because another video went through with no sound, but um. I'm working with them trying to figure out what the mess is going on. But yeah, we got $10 sitting in user testing. So you guys know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put everything on the screen, the total of all that stuff so you guys can see. Um, maybe by the time this video gets edited, everything from favor will be settled down and then we'll have a more realistic total. And I also got a $10 tip for doing one of my Instacart orders today. So needless to say, I had a very busy day. Um, I multi gapped the heck out of everything. Focusing maybe just on one app and probably would have been a little bit better. Um, but like I say, Instacart started dying down. Not that it died down. It's just the stores that had orders were way too far for me to go and it just didn't make any sense. You can run from store to store, but you're gonna run a lot of gas. Doing the ones that were very close to me did save me on gas. When I started doing favors, which took me to like far off destinations. But no, I'm still good on gas. It's just that's when I saw when well, that's when I started to see it move. But anyway, guys, I do thank you so much. I know these videos have just been kind of you know, chop, chop, chopper style, <laughs> chopping screwed all over the place. But I just wanted to show you what's been going on. Um, a lot of times I'm not, even, I'm not even planning on filming, but I just want to grab the uh, camera and just document what's happening. So um, in the future, I think I might just do sh a straight favor week. I might just do a straight Instacart week. I might jump back on Uber. I might do dispatch. I have a request for Rody. Actually, I'm gonna go sign up for Rody right now and I might end up doing some Rody's. Yeah, we got a lot going on. And if Deliver That ever jumps in with their uh, on-demand deliveries, I can show you guys some of that too. So I'm a very busy guy. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys all the different ways you can get out there, turn on one of these apps and just make a little extra money. Hopefully this quarantine, this virus pandemic, epidemic, whatever they call, won't last much longer and most of all of us can get back to our normal, regularly scheduled lives. But until then, guys, if you are enjoying what's going on around here and you're loving the multi-apps, go ahead and hit the like button so I know you're liking it. Subscribe if you're new because I really appreciate all the new faces that come through with new subscriptions and new videos. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so when I make a new video, everyone can come back here and watch them. I do hope you guys have a great night. Be safe and take care. Bye-bye.